Hi there, welcome to Um Colors. I'm Erica. On today's video, I'm going to be going through all of my completed pages and whips from Molly Harrison and Selena Fennec. I um, decided to combine these two artists because I found them right about the same time. So I have a couple books from each of them that are really old and then a couple books that I haven't really done a whole lot in. Uh, but I still love their artwork. I love to look at it. Um, and they both kind of have like two different art styles within their own art style, if that makes any sense. <laughs> You'll see what I mean here in a minute. But so we're going to start with Molly Harrison. Uh, and this was the first book that I got from her. This is Whimsical World. These are really sweet and simple uh, images. And yeah, so you can see they're just sweet little, little girls. Here's one I did. This is one of my very early ones. I think I did this with Crayola pencils. Um, yeah, but they're very, very simple illustrations. Very cute. Um, there's another one. These were all done, I think, with Crayola pencils. So these are very early days in my coloring. I think that's it. And then I have a, my niece did that one. But yeah, so there's that one. And then the next one I had was this one. This was her Halloween coloring book. Uh, and I just loved it when I got it. Um, that's one my daughter did. Here's one I did recently. I think I did this last Halloween. Really like the way that turned out. Um, this one was the very first one I did. So this says 316. So this was six years ago. <laughs> um, and this was, I think, all done with Crayola pencils. Yeah. Really do like the way that that one turned out, even though it's that old. This was when I, the very first time I think I tried to do a, like a blended sky. And this cauldron, I was very proud of that when I did it. Um, but yeah, it was a, this is a fun page. Then I do have, oh, there's another one my daughter did. And then I do have one more, another one that I love, which is this one. And this is the same image from the front cover. So I did take a lot of color inspiration from that. Um, even like the moon, some of the moon color, I kind of integrated into that. Just really enjoyed the color scheme that they had going on. So did that and then I did, I found this really cool um, night sky picture that I wanted to try to recreate. So that took forever, <laughs> forever, uh, because it's all done with colored pencil. Now, since these images are single-sided, I 100% could have used alcohol markers, and I don't know why I didn't, but that will definitely be um, happening a little bit more in these books. Uh, but yeah, really, really pleased with the way that one turned out. So there is that one. Then in this one, I'm not sure. I think I just, yeah, I just have a whip in this one. Thankfully, I have my colors written down, but I was trying to do, I just wanted to do a interesting wing. I think that turned out, it's turning out really pretty so far. I just, just have to go back and finish it. There's some really cute images in this one. This is a mix of her styles. So you've got some of the sweet and simple ones and then some of the ones that are a little bit more detailed. Um, but yeah, super cute book too. This one was a, a fun one to color around the holidays. So that one is holiday coloring fun. And then I got this year, I got this Mystical Autumn Grayscale book because I really wanted to try the grayscale and I fell in love with this front cover image and this is the one I wanted to try to do. But of course, I don't know how to color grayscale and this is really dark grayscale. So I had to practice first <laughs> and I did started that one and I hated it. I was so upset. And then I came back through and I did one with alcohol markers. And so there's the back side of it and then the front. I love how <laughs> different it looks from, you know, the actual color I put down to what it, it turned out to be. So that's really fun. Um, I still could go in with some colored pencil and, and get some of the details to come out a little bit better, but I never went back to finish this one. Yeah, you can see her eyes and her mouth are still not done. Nothing's, nothing's complete. But yeah, I really, the images in this are pretty. I just, I just, I don't know why the grayscale baffles me so much. <laughs> Because I, I don't want any of the gray to show through, if that makes any sense. So, like on that image, 
you can still see gray around her eyes and her, you know, all the shading and stuff. So then I would have to go back over that with pencil or marker or whatever to cut. I don't know. I was just like, if I'm going to have the shading in there, I might as well just put it in myself and not, not have all of the stuff that I need to cover. Anyway, that's just kind of how my brain works. And then I also got this, um, big book of Halloween and autumn this past, um, fall. And I do have one colored page in here. This one is another one where it's a mix of her different styles. You've got some close up ones, some far away ones, more that are ones that are more Gothic and scary ones that are really cute and just sweet. And then I have one in here and I did, um, print this out on different paper, but only because I was doing it as a color along. So here's just a flip, quick flip through some of these other images in this book. It's just really, just an awesome book. Um, anyway, so I was doing a color along with um, Corey from Colorfully Optimistic on our YouTube channels. We did a live body color with this page and we both used just alcohol markers. And uh, this was the result of mine, and I really, really like her. Um, it was a little intimidating to be only using alcohol markers because I always go back in with my color pencils to shade. Um, but I tried to do, I, I did all the shading with um, alcohol markers this time. Uh, and then added in some little sparkly bits here and there to her. And I think, yeah, I just I really like it. I like the way she turned out. So, uh, and then the last last one I have from Molly Harrison is this Fantasy Faces book. This is one that, um, again, the front cover just drew me, like, was just a beautiful image. Uh, I don't have anything colored in this yet, but this is a book where I'm going to do, like, a base of, or, or uh, prep the page with some gesso or some satin glazing liquid and go in with watercolors and just make it look fun and flowy and yeah just like kind of what's on the front cover that's that's what I want to do so so there is all of the Molly Harrison ones so next we've got my Selena Fennec books and again these are split up kind of into um two groups so you have her Fedorables books which are these ones here so I have the two Fedorables minis books, and then I have the bigger books. So I have the sweet and simple and the cute and creepy. And I'm not sure if she has, she might have other ones out as well, uh, but I don't, I don't have any of the other sweet, uh, the cute ones, but this is just, I think this book is these two books just in mini form, I believe, or images from those two books. Um, but yeah, so the mini one is just fun. Uh, and then I have this one too. This one is one that I don't have any images from in a bigger size. So I'm guessing there are other Fedorable um, images out there. I just don't know where they are. Um, I did kind of play around with some water-based markers in this book so far, but nothing finished. Um, this book... I've been loving coloring in. This is one that I'm sharing with my daughter because there are two sets of each image in this. And so let me show you. So she gets the front half of the book. So she's got all these ones that she's done. Um, they're just really cute. It's I love seeing her pages in here alongside of mine. So yeah, so there's that. And, and she wrote in the front, this book belongs to mom and Becca. <laughs> So it was really sweet. Um, and then in the back, so these are the ones that I've done. I did this one here. This was a really fun one. The alcohol markers, colored pencil on top, sparkle pot pen, and then a black um, acrylic background. And I just masked off the edges and painted the inside. I thought she turned out cute. This is one I just recently finished. And again, I drew in a border and then did some ink blending and stencils around the outside, um, alcohol markers and colored pencil for the inside. Uh, this is another one that I've done in here. This one was one that I probably should have prepped the page with some, some kind of medium because it's pretty, it's pretty crinkly, but, um, I still think it's really fun. 
uh, this one was one where I did a little bit of alcohol work, but the background is um, neo colors and chalk pastel. And then I went over top of it with some uh, dragonfly glaze to get that really super sparkly, shiny look. Uh, and then she's got some stickles in her hair. And yeah, I just really like that one. Uh, I think the only other one I have in here is this one. And this is the one from 2019. So this is when I thought I was going to maybe give her this book completely. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And I'm not sure if I have anything colored in this one yet. I think I had some marked to color this past Halloween, but I didn't get anything done. Yeah. So there is the Fedoral's Cute and Creepy. Uh, and then I do have in her other style, so she's got um, she's got some mini books as well. I'm not sure how many of them, but this is the Gothics mini. Um, and when I got this, I just assumed the images would be bigger, but there are like, like this, like mostly like this, but there are some in here where it's super detailed and super far away. And I'm like, I can't color that. <laughs> it's too small. Um, but yeah, that's of... And I don't have any of these images in a larger size, so even if they are super tiny, it's really, I think it'll still be fun to color. Uh, the first one I ever got by Selena Fennick was this one. This is Enchanted. And I do have a few completed pages and I think some whips in here as well. I have that one. This is the first time I tried to use, I think, ink tents on this paper and it it did fine. Um, I have this one. This was the very first. I actually used actual watercolor on here. Even did some salt sprinkling <laughs> in the background. But I did not protect this paper. And so it's, it, yeah. I'm surprised that the paper didn't deteriorate because I had no idea what I was doing. Um, but it's still, it was, it was fun to do. Um, I have this one. This one I think was when I was first starting out with my Prismacolors. I wish I had these dated because these are pretty old. I'm going to say probably close to 2016 as well. Um, so there's that one. This one is another really old one. This is when I was just learning how to blend skin. Uh, this is one where I have prepped it with some gesso and have been using water mediums. I just haven't gone back to finish it yet. I think there's one more. No? Oh. I thought I did more than that. That one. There. Yep, I knew there was one more. That one, too. And again, this is using... I, I don't remember what... I think Crayola's, and I was trying to blend and do different things, and yeah, it was, it was interesting to try. And I, I think that, you know, when you work on this paper with Crayolas and <laughs> you start to get discouraged because you can't make it look like you want it to look. And that's because the paper's not great and the pencils weren't great. So it was hard to get, you know, to get the look that I wanted, but thankfully I didn't quit. I kept going and, um, yeah. So there is that. That's enchanted. Uh, and then I think, I think I have one in this one. So this is Goddess by um, Zena Fennec. Again, you get two images of each page and I have um, started that one. I have no idea what colors I was using and I didn't finish her skin. So yeah, I don't know how that one's going to go, but I do have this one finished and I love this one. Um, uh, I don't remember what pencils I used in this page, but I do know I had like a, a Pinterest image that I used for inspiration from the background. Um, yeah, I think she turned out great. Really like her a lot. Uh, and then that's it in this one. There's so many in this one too that I want to do. And then I have three more by her, none of which have anything colored in them. All of them are really cool. Um, I'll go through these two first. So these ones are like full body, um, very detailed, super cool illustrations. I think that one was a portrait. There is, 
there's a portrait in there too. And each one of these is named. So yeah, there's another portrait. But yeah, they've got a mix, a good mix. And different, um, in this one, there's like different ethnicities, different genders, different sizes. I just really love, really loved this book. I was very happy with the, how inclusive it seemed. Uh, this is her Christmas one. So this is called Festive Magic. And it's basically just, it's fairies and angels and unicorns with a little bit of holly, you know. Cute little, cute little images. And then this is the fairy portraits. And this one I love too. And I have not done any. Uh, I really like that they have really young, really old, um, heavy, male, thin, you know, all of, all of everything. This is another one that's very inclusive and I like that one too. This one's beautiful. So, so yeah, so those are all the books. Um, lots of, lots of books that don't have anything colored in them. And I'm, I'm been trying really hard to, uh, not buy more of these until I have some images colored in. Uh, but the artwork is so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. Uh, so yeah, so even just going through and looking at these just makes me happy. So, all right. Well, that's everything that I have from Molly Harrison and Selena Fennec. I hope you enjoyed that today. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.